Hey my coffee compadres, Logan Maltese for MajestyCoffee.com and today I'm going to be showing you how to back flush your espresso machine. I'll be working on the Oscar II which you can pick up for a great deal at MajestyCoffee.com but this video will also apply to most home and commercial espresso machines as well. So let's get started. The basic tools you're gonna need for this task are a portafilter, a towel, blind portafilter basket, short flathead screwdriver, or even a Demitasse spoon will work, a brush to clean around the inside of the group head and make sure you get your gasket, as well as an espresso safe cleaner, which you can find online. Just to note before we get started that obviously all components of the espresso machine are very hot, some above 200 degrees. So be careful or use a pair of gloves if needed. Uh, but most of the time, if you're just careful enough, you won't get burned. Pop out your regular basket and replace it with your blind basket. Should snap right into place. Unscrew your screen with your screwdriver. Making sure to be careful you don't scratch, dent, or damage any parts of your espresso machine while doing this step. Also, sometimes during this step, a bit of water may come out of your group head, so just be careful as not to burn yourself. There we go, comes out nice and dirty, as so. So we're gonna get that all cleaned up. The Oscar II also comes with this water dispersion device, which comes out much hotter <laughs> than the screen uh, and can also be rinsed as well. With this part, you can clean all these with hot water or an espresso safe cleaner. So I'm just gonna drop these into a solution with my espresso safe cleaner. What you wanna do next is take your towel, wipe out the inside of the group head, making sure to get up inside where the gasket is. For this part, it might be helpful to either take your screwdriver and place it underneath to get a little bit of an angle or use a Demitas spoon under there just to get in between all of the edges. This is where if you bought a brush for your espresso machine, this is gonna help get that group head nice and clean. So here we go, just scrubbing around, taking my flat head and getting all the edges, being nice and gentle, but making sure to get up inside there to clean our gasket. And you'll see, Quite a bit of sludge comes out of there and that's just coffee sludge that's totally fine but we want to make sure to get that nice and clean at this point take your blind porta filter and refer to your espresso cleaner for the proper dosage amount to place into your blind porta filter basket after doing so you're just going to want to insert your porta filter back into your machine with that espresso cleaner run water through your machine for 10 seconds on 10 seconds off for at least three cycles Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and wait for ten seconds. Nine, ten, ten seconds off. One more cycle. And at this point, we're going to discard the water with the espresso cleaner. Rinse our porta filters to get off the cleaner entirely. You can just rinse with warm water. Replace our porta filter with the blind basket and run for another three cycles, 10 seconds on, 10 seconds off. This time just with the clean water. All right, discard of that water. It should run very clean at this point and there should be no espresso cleaner left in there. After about five minutes of soaking, you can remove all of your other parts, run them under clean water to make sure all of the solution comes off and bring them back to your machine. They should be nice and sparkly and shiny. We're going to reinsert your screen at this point. First, just tightening by hand. Just get that nice and tight with your hand and then take your flat head and just go about half a turn more. We don't want that to be too tight and also not too loose. And there you are. At this point, you can replace your blind portafilter basket 
with your normal basket and get ready to brew again. You wanna make sure to do this maintenance semi-regularly. A lot of people do it once a day. If you don't use your machine that, one, that much, you might be able to do it more like once a week, but it's definitely recommended to back flush your machine as much as possible to improve the lifespan of your machine. All right, well, that's all I've got for you today. Check out majestycoffee.com where we've got the Oscar II. Many more amazing machines for you. Our customer service team is standing by to help you make the right decision. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time.